In the blue corner from South Africa and a returning martial combat veteran, it's Voicile, the cheetah, Colossa! Gentlemen, you've got the crowd clapping to the beat of South African rhythm rhythms. Yusile, the Chita Colossa, we've seen it before, and he's impressive. And look what he's done to the audience. <laughs> he's got them dancing along with him. Way to get the crowd on your side. Tell you what, you never really know what's going to happen in a mixed martial arts contest. All you can do is provide a good matchup, and this is a great matchup. We've seen both of these fighters before. They've both been very impressive. Gusile first, 1.78 meters tall, just a centimeter taller than his opponent today. Has a 2 and 0 MMA record. He's a kickboxer. And he's a fine stand-up fighter with good moves. Oh, definitely. This guy's a world champion kickboxer. This guy is one of the, you know, one of the scariest stand-up fighters ever to grace the martial combat ring. In the red corner from the Philippines, he is a martial combat super fight champion. He is Edward the Landslide Polaya! You know, Alvin, uh, at a previous edition of Martial Combat, when Edward Polayong fought, I had the pleasure of bringing some Filipino friends of mine along, and they absolutely loved this man's performance. He had a tough time. It was a gritty contest. He came out on top, and it was a real contest of bravery and fortitude. And he's a real crowd pleaser, this guy. Oh, moment. definitely. This guy's a very, very nice guy outside the ring in the Philippines. This is one of the heroes of mixed martial arts. He's one of the top mixed martial artists the Philippines has produced. And, you know, the whole country is putting their hopes in him, hoping the next Manny Pacquiao will come from mixed martial arts in the person of Edward the Landslide Falaya. Well, it's quite possible, I can tell you. You'll see an awful lot of grit from this fella. At no stage will he be giving up. He comes in to win. And he's up against an opponent here who has a lot of skills. And this really is a great match. Don't go anywhere, guys. You just sit there in your chairs and enjoy this contest. Oh, definitely. Interesting to note is right after this is Edward will be fighting and representing the Philippines in the Asian Games. So this guy is always training, always fighting, and always competing for his country. A really big hero in the magnificent country of the Philippines. Good looking fella. Really a pleasure to speak to. Will never hesitate to sign autographs, pose for photographs. Really represents his country well. Quite typical of the wonderful people in that nation. Respect for the ring, respect for the sport. And here he is, Edouard Paulayon from the Philippines. This contest is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes each and is conducted under the unified rules as sanctioned by the Asian MMA Federation. Your referee for this fight, Mr. Steven Percival. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready for the combat? Fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a returning martial combat veteran and a Thai world champion kickboxer. He's also the current South African Thai kickboxing champion. Standing at 178 centimeters tall, he weighs in at 68 kilograms. He has a professional MMA record of two wins and no losses. From South Africa, it's Voicile, the Cheetah Holosa! <laughs> Fighting out the red corner, this man is a multi gold medalist from international Wushu and is the number one ranked lightweight fighter out of the Philippines and the current URCC champion. He's a martial combat superstar and a super fight champion who has a perfect record inside this cage. 
He stands at 177 centimeters tall and weighs in at 73 kilograms. He has a professional MMA record of eight wins and just one loss. From the Philippines and representing URCC, it is Edward the Landslide Follow! Joshi doing his usual fine performance in the center of the ring. And now we're looking ahead to a couple of fine performances over the next 15 minutes for you. Two really talented guys. Let's give this crowd a war. And a war this is going to be. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, well, let's drop this guy. Come on. Edward firing the first salvo, a left kick to the inner thigh of the left leg of Wisile. Yeah, Edward usually likes starting out with that inside leg kick. Goes okay. straight for the hips and a spectacular takedown. Take Busile, beautiful yeah. takedown. Landed very awkwardly on his arm, Busile. I wonder if that uh, is going to have a, a lingering impact on this fight. Okay, Busile trying to play half guard. Working hard already, the Filipino, punching to the side of the body. You suspect that Buisile didn't incur any injuries because he's managing to yes. get a good strong grip on his opponent there. Okay. Buisile tried to get the back. Okay. okay, now they're back to the stand-up game. Already the crowd appreciating this one. They know they've got they got a tickler on their hands. Nice inside leg, leg kicks by Edward. Good Whoa, solid got left jab. Stunned there by a beautiful left jab by Busile. Both connected, but it was Edward that uh, was slightly shaken. That was a scary left jab by Busile. Look at the speed on Busile. This is his thing. He's got very quick hands. He's in and out of position before you even realize what's gone on. Edouard favoring that uh, left kick to the inner thigh. You'll see it a number of times. A beautiful fast jab by Busile. Getting Edward right again. Edward's going for the takedown once again. And he gets it this time against the cage. He has Buisili against the cage now. No room to work at all, the South African. Canvas, cage, and opponent. Now there's blood already. Edward has got blood on his face. Whether it's coming from him or not, let's okay. see. Okay, Edward's going for a was going to go for a guillotine choke there. Let's see if he gets a takedown once again. Okay, he gets a takedown once again. Okay, good defense by Busile. Oh, <laughs> slip between his legs. <laughs> he is a slippery customer. This guy is so slick. Okay, I see you some can blood see in the Edward's blood face, dripping though. down on the canvas. It's coming from Edward for sure. Okay, Busile was hanging onto the cage there. Now, Edward might get his back. A clash of heads okay. there. Edward dabs. Edward's bleeding now. That eye that's clearly bleeding. You can see drops on the canvas. Quite a, lo a lot of blood coming out from that wound. We'll look to get a close okay, Nice takedown by camera. Edward. Okay, Edward, had, a lot. Edward has to be careful here. That might get a guillotine choke there by Buisile. Important not to be distracted by that cut because at any moment he could... Oh, he slipped out, he slipped out. The imminent okay. danger is over. Nice up kick by Buisile. And punching upwards as well. He'll be working on that cut. Okay, now Buisile might be the one to go for a takedown now. Edward's trying to do some sort of a guillotine choke here, but he doesn't have it. Let's see if we can take a look at that cut of Edward. It's above his left eye. Whether it's below the eyebrow or not, can't quite see. I think it is, and that's dangerous. Uh, what it means is that the blood will run into his eye, and it'll, uh, it'll make vision out of that eye very, very difficult at times. Definitely, it's very hard to fight with blood going inside your eye, especially against a very fast fighter like Buisile. Great camera work from our crew at ringside, just giving us a little close-up of exactly where that cut is there. Doesn't seem to be bleeding too freely at the moment. Okay, Edward going inside again for the takedown, gets a single leg. 
Let's see if he's able to finish it. Beautiful finish. Let's see if Edward gets to Slipped do something out. there, though. Slipped out, didn't he? He had yeah. hold of that leg. Well, and he's seen this very hard to He really is. Down. Difficult to pin down, isn't he? And the turnaround, it's Edward now with his back to the cage. Okay, let's see what Vuishili does now from the clinch. I'm surprised Vuishili hasn't shown us his knee strikes yet, because this guy has good knee strikes. Oh, and good whoa. shots. And Vuishili landing. Right hand, and he followed up with a left and a right. If you notice, every time Vuishili lands, it shakes Edward. But let's see what Edward comes up with. He's got a good chin, though, hasn't he, the Filipino? Oh, definitely. But then again, he shouldn't keep testing it against a fight like Vuishili. Ten seconds, Final 10 seconds of the round, it's already been a thriller. These guys have not relented for a moment. <laughs> what an entertaining round. first round that was. I was looking up at uh, Busile's uh, right eye before the fight, and uh, I may be mistaken, but I thought I was seeing the remnant of a cut from a previous fight, but strangely enough, it's Eduardo, and there it is. What great camera work. We're really getting a close-up of exactly where it is, below the eyebrow. And we have shots of Edward for this first takedown, that ended beautifully there. That was the one where we thought maybe Busile had uh, hurt his arm. Exactly, but then Busile just got right back up. In Eduardo's corner, they are working on that eye, putting some Vaseline in there to try and stem the flow I'm, of blood. I'm sure they're going to do everything they can to stop the blood. Below the eyebrow, but on the eyelid, it'll be very sore. But strangely enough, cuts in that position don't always see a constant flow of blood and it looks as if they've uh, stopped it for now it stays like that it won't pose any significant danger for him but as i said before it's when the blood goes into the eye that the difficulty arises and it may just be sufficiently to the left of the eye to not actually get into the eye socket so it may not be as bad as we at first thought yes i'm sure they close it by now they put a lot of vaseline to stop the blood I'm sure Bushi is going to try to stay more active here now. How did you score the first round? Uh, the first round I scored for Edward, definitely all Edward. But, but I mean, you know, but Buisile had some good strikes, but he was taken down quite a lot. And Edward was able to impose his game. Let's see what happens though in the second round. Big overhand right attempt from the Filipino there. Look at the jab of Buisile though. Wow, it is cobra-like, isn't it? Just comes out and within an instant he's back in the guard. Okay, Edward going for another takedown, a little single leg guard. Such a strong individual. Look at those thighs. No wonder that Fusile pinned against the cage there yeah. with little option of getting out. Okay, though, but Edward's right in the guillotine, so that's a very, very... His neck's in deep, so Fusile, you know, if he knows, he might be able to take advantage of the guillotine choke like that. Edward knows it, so he's beginning Slipping to push out, his... slips out of it. Well done, sir. Let's see if Edward knows what to do from here, though. Still got that head under the armpit there, but uh, we still not bringing it around. Stand up again, look. Listening to his corner, seems a little bit concerned to be in that position. I, I certainly get the feeling that Busile is more comfortable standing up. Oh, definitely. He's a world champion kickboxer, and you don't want to be standing with somebody like him. Oh, this is not good for Edward. Oh, be a knee he strike from there. took the knee to the head, didn't he? That did look very vulnerable for a moment there. That overhand right from uh, Edward has been something he's tried a number of times already. Well, Edward's landing. He's actually landing on Buisili, a world champion kickboxer. Two completely different punching styles. Edward far wilder with his throws. They have a big, a big backward a arc. Yes, it's a looping punch, isn't it? Faked him out there. Faked to punch and then stood on the foot. Buisili's punching far more economical. Snap